Good day everyone. So we will continue our discussion about general annuity. So sa, vid- sa video lesson na ito, yung focus naman natin is to find the regular or periodic payment. So when the future value is given, so we are using this formula, F over 1 plus I raised to N minus 1 over I. So kapag present value naman ay given, so P over 1 minus 1 plus I raised to negative n over i. And then, gagamitin pa rin natin. Okay, kukunin pa rin natin yung equivalent rate. At the same time, yung value ng n, so that is m sub 1 times t. So, to recall, r is the regular payment. i is the equivalent interest rate per payment interval converted from the interest rate per, per period. So, uh, pinaliwanag natin yan dun sa una at pangalawang a uh, video lesson about general annuity. So I hope bago niyo to map- mapanood yung uh, video lesson na to, dapat na panood niyo muna yung lesson how to find the future value and the present value. And R is the nominal rate, M sub 1 is the payment interval, M sub 2 is the length of compounding period, and T is the term of annuity. So for example, Monthly payment of the future value of 50,000 for one year with an interest rate of 10% compounded quarterly. Since malinaw naman na ang given is future value, so nakalagay sa problem natin that the future value is 50,000. So ibig sabihin, yung gagamitin natin dito ay yung formula na nandun yung future value. And then, yung M sub 1 natin, so tuwing kailan siya magbabayad, that is, so ano yung mode of payment niya? That is monthly, no? Monthly payment. So therefore, M sub 1 is equal to 12. And then, yung compounding period niya is quarterly. So, ibig sabihin, yung M sub 2 natin is equal to 4. And then, T is equal to 1. Okay, kasi 1 year lang sa loob ng isang taon. And then the nominal rate is 10%, so that is 0.1 or 0.10. And then the number of payments, so ilan, no? ilang beses siya magbabayad ng anos. Yung regular payment pala yung hinahanap natin. So the number of payment is 12 times 1, so that is 12. So yun ang hahanapin natin. So sa loob, magbabayad siya ng magkano sa la, ng 12 times. So, yun pala yung kailangan natin hanapin. Yung regular payment. No? Okay. So, of course, kailangan pa rin natin. So, kagaya ng ginawa natin sa video lesson natin about uh, finding the present and future value. Kailangan natin i-convert yung 10% compounded quarterly to its equivalent interest rate for monthly interval. So, kailangan natin Ito para makuha yung equivalent rate. So, gamit yung formula, so substitute lang natin all the values na meron tayo dito. So, yung nominal rate natin is 0.1 over m sub 2, that is 4, and 4, uh, raised to 4 over 12 minus 1. So, you can use your calculator. And the answer is 0. 0.008264484. Okay, so by using the calculator... So, using the calculator, so, ilagay muna natin yung open and close parenthesis. Open and close. Then, yung fraction bar sa gitna. And that is, ilagay muna natin pala bago yan, yung 1 plus, and then yung fraction bar. That is 0 0.1 over 4. So, yung pang exponent natin. Then, another fraction bar. That is 4 over 12 minus 1. So, and then answer. So, the answer is, since nakaano tayo dito, yung kagaya na sin- uh, in-explain ko dun sa previous video lesson, so in scientific notation, paano natin to isulat? So, that is 0 0.008. So, dapat bago dito sa 8 na to, ibig sabihin tatlo dapat. Since negative 3 yan, so magdadagdag lang kayo ng dalawang 0. Kaya 0 0.0082684. So, kinonvert na natin itong uh, 3 natin. 
no? Ah, ni round off na pala natin yung 3 kasi yung kasunod niya 7. Since 8 decimals lang na yung gagamitin natin. After that, since ang given natin is future value, so therefore yung gagamitin natin para makuha natin yung uh, periodic payment nito, no? Para makuha natin yung uh, yes, yung the periodic deposit niya no for the ordinary annuity using the equivalent rate na 0.00826484 so therefore gamit yung formula na yan so kailangan kasi class ko ano yung given na yon yun din dapat yung formula na gagamitin niyo so kung given yung present value so yung formula na nandoon yung present value natin so Sa substitute lang natin lahat ng values no na meron tayo dito. So yung future value natin is 50,000 over uh, 1 plus the value of i raised to 12 minus 1 over the value of i. So you can check using your calculator. So get solve natin using the calculator. So ang una yung gagawin dito is yung fraction bar. And then type nyo sa taas yung 50,000 and then dito class, lagyan natin ng open and close parenthesis sa uh, denominator natin kasi fraction yung denominator natin and then uh, type natin yung fraction bar another open parenthesis that is 1 plus 0 0.00826 Four eight four, and then close parenthesis yung exponent natin and that is 12 and then down minus 1 and then sa baba type natin yung exp uh, value ng i natin 0 0.00826 484 ok and then type that then equal so the answer is 3000 980 pesos point 64 okay so use, you can use your scientific calculator kasi nga mahirap ito compute manually okay proceed tayo sa next example okay to accumulate a fund of 500,000 in 3 years how much should Aling Paring deposit in her account every 3 months if it pays an interest of 5.5% compounded annually. So, first, ano yung magiging given natin dito? Yung 500,000 ba ay future value or present value? So, balikan natin yung problem. To accumulate a fund para magkaroon siya ng 500,000 pesos. So, ibig sabihin, 500,000 pesos is what? A future value. Okay, correct. So, future value. So, the future value is 500,000. And then, ano yung mode of payment dito? Deposit in her account every 3 months. So, sa loob ng isang taon, kung every 3 months siya magbabayad, ibig sabihin, apat na beses. So, M sub 1 is equal to 4. So, quarterly. no Quarterly siya magbabayad. And then, yung M sub 2 natin, ano yung compounding period natin? That is, annually. So, therefore, yung M sub 2 natin is equal to 1. After that, yung term natin, or the number of term, that is 3 years. So, sa loob ng tatlong taon. So, T is equal to 3. And then, the nominal rate is 5.5%. So, i-convert na natin in decimal. So, 0 0.055. And then, N, that is M sub 1 times T or 4, 4 times 3, N is equal to 12. So, same process sa ginawa natin sa example number 1. We need to convert 5.5% compounded annually to its equivalent interest rate for quarterly deposits. So, Using the formula, substitute lang natin all the values no, na nandito sa formula natin. And that is the nominal rate, that is 0 0.055 over 1. Kasi yung M sub 2 natin is 1, raised to 1 over 4 minus 1. So you can use your scientific calculator. And the answer is 0 0.0134 
7517. Okay, so after that, makukuha na natin. Since future value ang given, kagaya sa example number 1, yun din yung formula na gagamitin natin. Okay, this is future value. No? Yung future value ang hinahanap dito. So again, to find the periodic deposit, so you see the formula na nandun yung future value. So what you're going to do is substitute lang lahat ng given values and that is 500,000 over 1 plus the value of i raised to 12 minus 1 all over the value of i. And the answer is using your scientific calculator that is 38,668 pesos point 13 centavos. So ibig sabihin class, uh, that is what? This is the periodic deposit. So every ano yan, talk every quarter, no? Every 3 months, so every 3 months. So si Aling pa rin ay magdi-deposit ng 38,668.13 pesos. So para after 3 years, ma-accumulate niya yung 500,000 pesos. Okay. Last last example. Nadine is the beneficiary of 1 million insurance policy. Instead of taking the money as lump sum, she opted to receive a monthly stipend. So when you say stipend, parang regular salary siya or bayad, no? It's a payment over a period of 10 years. If the insurance policy pays an interest of 5% compounded annually, What will her monthly stipend? So, again, class, tingnan natin yung given. So, sina din na is the beneficiary of 1 million insurance policy. Instead of taking the money as lump sum, she choose, parang opted, choose to receive a monthly stipend. So, yung 1 million dyan, that is what? Yes, that is the present value. So, yung 1 million na yan, that is the present value. And then, tuwing kailan, no? Yung uh, makaka-receive siya, no? Tuwing kailan? Every ano pala? Every quarter? Every uh, twice a year ba siya makaka-receive? So, that is monthly. So, therefore, yung M sub 1 natin is 12. And then, yung M sub 2 natin, the compounding period, so that is compounded annually. Therefore, yung M sub 2 natin is 1. And then, the term, that is a period of 10 years. Okay, so T is equal to 10. And the nominal rate is 5%, so therefore, that is 0.05. And yung N natin, M sub 1 times T, or 12 times 10, that is 120. So, ibig sabihin, 120 times siya maka, uh, makakuha ng regular payment na kung saan yun ang ha kukunin natin. So, first, we need to convert 5% compounded annually to its equivalent interest rate for monthly interval. So, using the formula, substitute lang natin yung nakma values nito. So, the nominal rate natin is 0.05 over 1 raised to 1 over 12, okay? And then minus 1. Using your scientific calculator, the answer is 0.0040-7412. So, 8 decimals lagi yung kinukuha natin. Since present value ang given, so to find the monthly stipend, so gagamitin natin yung formula na nandun yung present value. And that is, R is equal to P, Over 1 minus 1 plus i raised to negative 1 over i. So, ang gagawin lang natin, substitute lang natin lahat ng values na kailangan natin dito sa formula na to. And that is 1 million over 1 minus 1 plus the value of i raised to negative 120 over the value of i. Okay? Use your scientific calculator. Okay, to find the regular payment. So, the answer is 10,552 pesos, 0.35. So, ibig sabihin, si Nadine 
every month, no, every month siya makareceive. Ang marireceive niya every month is 10,552.35 sa loob ng 10 taon. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.